In this lesson, we are going to enable the ping on the server. The ping is an important troubleshooting tool that administrators use a lot. It allows us to check whether a server is online or not. It's the first network troubleshooting step we usually take. The ping is not allowed by default on Windows Server. You have to allow it by enabling a traffic rule on the firewall. And this is what we are going to do now. To open the Windows Firewall, click on the Start menu and click on Control Panel. Next, click on System and Security. Then, click on Windows Defender Firewall. Up front, you can see that the firewall is enabled on this server. You can guess that based on the green icons. There are two firewall profiles on this server. One that applies to the private networks and the second one applies to the guest or public networks. Private networks are local networks such as your organization network or a home network. And public networks are those networks open to everyone such as public Wi-Fi hotspots. And for each of these profiles, you can apply different rules. For example, I may allow the ping on my private network, but deny it on public networks because I don't want a bad actor to run a scan to discover my network. You may also allow file sharing on your private network, but you will not allow it on a public network and permit strangers to access your files. When we will promote our server to a domain controller, you will see a third profile that applies to domain. To enable the incoming ping traffic, click on Advanced Settings. Click on Inbound Rules. You can see a list of inbound rules. In the first column, you have the rules name, the group to which the rule belongs, the profile that the rules applies to. You can apply the rule to a specific profile or to all profiles. Here we have the rule status, enabled or disabled. The action performed by the rule allows the traffic or denies it. The local address shows the local IP address on which we allow or deny the traffic. The server may have several network interfaces with several IP addresses in some cases. So you can apply the rule on a specific IP or to all IPs by choosing any. Here we have the protocol, TCP, UDP or ICMP protocol, the protocol number. Okay, now let's allow the incoming ping traffic. A quick way to do it is to filter on the protocol we need to configure to shorten the rule list. Click on filter by a group to display the available filters. Then click on filter by file and printer sharing. This is the filter that contains the ICMP rule we want to allow. The rule we want to enable is the first one. File and printer sharing echo request ICMP4 in. Select it and right click, then click on enable rule. The rule is now enabled and normally we can now ping our server. So let's do a test. I excite the full screen mode to display my Windows 10 desktop. Open the command prompt. I type the ping command followed by the server's IP address. Yes, it's a success. I get a reply from the server. Now let's see what happens if I disable the firewall rule. Try the ping again. I recall the previous command by pressing the upper arrow key. I get a request timeout. It's a failure. Let's enable the rule again. Test the ping. Yes, we are good to go. Now we need to do the same operation on the Windows Server Core system. But this time we will do it differently by using a PowerShell command. Because the Windows Server Core doesn't have a menu we can use to do this configuration. First, enter 15 to excite to the command line. Then, enter the following command. I'm going to copy it and paste it. It's a long command. Here it is. 
The command is set net firewall followed by dash display name and the name of the rule I want to change. It's the same rule we have seen on the firewall of the Windows Server Desktop Experience version. And at the end, we specify the action we want to perform. Here, we will enable this rule. Okay, I press enter. Yes, now let's see if I can ping this server. I ping the server core IP address that ends by 20. Yes, the ping works. If you want to disable the firewall rule, type the same command and replace true by false. Okay, now we shouldn't be able to ping the server. Of course, the ping fails. Let's enable the ping again. Okay, let's test the ping. Yes, it works. Good job, guys. See you in the next lesson.